power makes the world go round and it's hard to imagine our modern society without it. But most of that power still comes from burning fossil fuels, which many people believe is a major contributor to global warming. So what are the alternatives? The biggest supply of sustainable power comes from that, the sun. And one way of harnessing its energy is by using these solar panels. And they can be as small and compact as this mobile phone charger, or you can get some serious whoppers. This is the world's biggest solar power plant, and it's been built in Portugal. It's made up of 52,000 photovoltaic modules covering an area the size of 145 football pitches. It cost £40 million to build and it generates enough juice to supply 8,000 homes. Now we want to know what's inside them and how they work. Now we've got a photovoltaic panel here. And over here, a solar thermal panel. And true to form, Johnny's going to cut them up with a grinder. It's a little-known fact that Albert Einstein received his Nobel Prize not for the theory of relativity, but for the work he did on photoelectrics, the science behind solar panels. But it's only relatively recently that the technology has improved to the point where it's now viable to use solar panels for large-scale power production. There we have nice it. Nice cutting. Sliced in two. What can we see? Well, not a lot. This solar panel has 36 silicon cells which convert the sun's energy into electricity, but they're wafer thin and barely visible from the side. Ooh. What you can see is the glass, which is there to protect the cells from the sun's radiation and indelicate handling. Next up, the solar thermal panel. These are specifically designed to use the sun's energy to warm water at a much lower tech. Good stuff. So what have we got here? We've got a double glazed transparent layer made of some kind of plastic which lets the sunlight in. You've got an air gap of about 20 to 30 mil, an aluminium plate painted black to absorb the heat. Sandwiched between two of these aluminium layers is the pipework through which the water's circulated, absorbing the heat. And all the energy is coming this way, so at the back, you've got an insulation layer of silver back liner. It's brilliant, so it's going to get really warm on the inside. And the water can be recirculated out of the panel to, for example, preheat the water in your hot water tank. It's brilliant. 